Good morning, you guys. Erin here at Eat, Move, Rest, and welcome back, or if it's your first time to our channel, then welcome. If you are new here, then like I said, my name is Erin. I have been plant-based and vegan for about the past eight years, along with my husband, Dusty, and our two beautiful children, Max and Olivia, who were plant-based both during pregnancy and since childbirth. Today, I thought I would take you guys through a day of eating fully raw. Yes, somewhat inspired by Fully Raw Christina, whom I adore, but I will also be putting my own twist on things. I just felt inspired recently by her, and because we are on the cusp of springtime, so the end of one season and the beginning of another season is a great time to detoxify the body, and while I don't necessarily believe in long-term crazy juice and water fasts and long-term detoxes. I do think, like I said, once a quarter at the change of every season is a good time to refresh. So I do have a three-day juice feast ebook, which could be one route to take, or another route could be doing what I'm doing and maybe just doing 24 hours or maybe 48 hours of going completely raw. So my main concern is of course, making sure I have adequate calories. I am still breastfeeding. I do fully trust that I can get everything that I need dietarily, but I do think that calories are super important when going raw because for breakfast, I'm planning to do a green juice. Green juices, while very nutrient dense, they are extremely low in calories. So I'm going to be incorporating some pineapple and green apple to bump the caloric intake up. I'll be sharing in a little bit what I'm having for lunch and for dinner. Being that it is also Lent, it's a great time to purge or release or kind of rid yourself of what isn't serving you and many times that may take the form of food or something diet related. And while I don't believe that Lent is a diet, I do think that if food is something that you're highly focused on, maybe it is hindering you in some way, if food has maybe even become your God, then maybe it is a time to release something. Maybe you practice fasting once a week or going fully raw for a day. So this is the perfect time to clear that space. And when you have that white space, it's the opportunity to grow closer to God. So be prayerful, mindful, just ever present and grateful. Another reason why I'm doing this fully raw day of eating is because we are just days away from our Eat, Move, Rest Costa Rica retreats in in Costa Rica. We spend the entire month of March there as a family of four, getting to connect with many of our Eat, Move, Rest family online and getting to know you guys in person. It's so much fun. And most of what we're eating on the retreats is raw, from fresh cold pressed juices and smoothies and tropical fruits grown on the farm of life, to munching on fruits and veggies and nut and seed butters and dips, dressings and spreads as we hike and adventure. So let's dive right into our fruity tropical green juice. This is my beautiful Nama J2 juicer, which I have been totally obsessed with ever since I got this one. I have been juicing so much more. And if you guys are interested, I will link it below along with a discount code. It's an amazing offer. This thing will last you a lifetime. It's great for batch juicing. It's great when I have a kiddo on my hip. I can chop everything, throw it in here, close it, walk away, and it completely does the rest for you. So, like I said, it's linked in the description. Does anybody else think Nama would be kind of a cool girl's name? <laughs> or a boy, actually. Kind of sounds Hawaiian almost, but let me know if you think that's a cool name. Yes, I have baby fever. No, I'm not pregnant. Not that I know of, but I want more kids so badly. So the first thing I like to do is set up my cutting board, get a towel for my produce. It's called mise en place. So if you can completely organize everything before you get started, it's going to make life a lot easier with this juicing. Rinse everything, lay it on the towel, and then chop it all. Add it in and we are good to go. Right now I am chopping my dino kale. It's also called lacinato. And we're actually growing this in our garden right now. This was probably about six leaves of dino kale. We've got four pretty good size cucumbers, about half a head of celery, one lemon and lime, getting a little crazy, lemon lime today. I have a handful of broccoli and alfalfa sprouts, a huge chunk of ginger. I haven't decided if I'm gonna use the whole thing. This turmeric, I probably won't use the whole thing. 
one Granny Smith apple, and then I have three large leaves of collard greens. Oh, and my juicy, ripe, golden yellow pineapple. I cannot wait. I'll probably add about half of this. The thing I love about raw foods is that when you take the cooking component out, it takes you just minutes to prepare any type of meal. And it's so fresh, it's so good for you. So when you're not cooking your foods, it's keeping all of the enzymes intact. There are a lot of um, things that can get denatured in the cooking process. That being said, there are a lot of components to food, certain nutrients that actually become unlocked when they're cooked. So like tomatoes and lycopene, for example, when you cook a tomato, you have better access to that lycopene, which is great for your heart. So not all cooked foods are bad, but there is so much benefit to eating more fresh, whole living fruits and vegetables. Well, what is that it's called? Well, those are sprouts. Around it. So much you could worry about, but I ain't worried about it. I'm just living my best life. There's no stress life. Let me show you what the rest like. Hey, we know what we want. It's like. Christina says 32 ounces of juice. The line right here says 35, so probably like 40 ounces. I added some ginger to the green juice, but I didn't want to add all of it and make it too spicy, so I'm gonna do a ginger turmeric shot with the rest. I'll do that really quick. You wanna try it? <laughs> no. We've got our green juice, we've got our pineapple juice. I'll probably just do a little mix and save some for the kids. And this is my 32 ounce mason jar. Mm so good. Initial observations, this tastes amazing. I may have added a little bit too much spicy ginger, even the kids said too spicy, but I like that. It's definitely feeling like more than enough fuel for a good sweat session, so I'm gonna go do that next, and then I cannot wait to make a delicious smoothie bowl and tropical fruit tray. So here is my beloved garnet yam, or sweet potato. It has been growing like this for about the past four months, no joke. I bought it like during the holidays. And it's just been sitting on our countertop in that condition. So my mom sent me a funny Instagram reel of this person showing how you can basically grow your own sweet potatoes by clipping off or picking off these little sprouts once they have three leaves on them. You delicately twist and pull it off, and then here's what I've done. So now I have this like thriving sweet potato plant. I put these three sprouts in there two days ago, and already they have developed a major massive root system. So what we can do next is pop these in our garden soil and grow our own sweet potatoes. So I've also seen this done with celery, um, where you chop the bottom off and just put it in water and it starts to grow new celery. You can do it with romaine, so many different things. So pretty cool. Whew. Okay, so I did biceps, back, and core today. It was super tough. I've been doing a lot of Caroline Gervin's videos. She is this Irish cute little thing and her YouTube channel is the best. So go check out her videos. I love them. Most of them incorporate dumbbells. So since I did arms and it was kind of slower, not so much cardio, I ended with a little portion of one of her cardio hit workouts and it was just like nonstop burpees. So it only took me like five minutes and I was like, okay, I've had enough, I've had enough. But 
refueling with water. By the way, I didn't mention, I did start with 32 ounces of fresh filtered water before my juice. So now I am rehydrating. So I always add a capful of Sun Warriors Liquid Light and Silver Strength to my first post-workout water bottle. I keep it chilled in the refrigerator and it really hits the spot. Liquid Light is packed full of minerals that help with electrolyte balance. Silver Strength has ionic silver and other minerals that are great for boosting your immune system. And lastly, I'm also doing a capful of the Vitamin Mineral Boost. This one tastes really good. It's a liquid multivitamin. Mm, I just love it. The thing I like about Liquid Light and Silver Strength is that they contain a fulvic acid mineral complex. So fulvic or humic acid is basically like the most broken down form of plant matter, so everything has been completely decomposed. It's very, very nutrient rich, essentially. So I'm gonna also be adding Sun Warrior to my smoothies as usual. You guys can always get 20% off with our discount code EATMOVEREST. Check out all of our favorites. The link will be in the description. So I'm still deciding on smoothie bowls, so I'm gonna rinse fruit in the meantime. We're gonna do strawberries, blueberries, some raspberries. I believe these are gooseberries. We're gonna do some green grapes. Basically, whenever I go to the grocery store, if it's organic and we like it, then I buy it. So I'm gonna do some green kiwi, and we have a blood orange, and then I think this might be a cara cara, which is kind of like a pinkish, almost like a cross between an orange and a grapefruit, and then some leftover pineapple from breakfast juice. Usually when I make my smoothie bowls, I kind of try to be intuitive about what color I'm feeling most drawn to. So if it's like a purpley pink, then I'll do a mixed berry bowl. If it's like an orangey yellow, I'll add some mango and pineapple. Today I'm feeling really drawn to orange, so it's gonna be mango, pineapple, carrot, frozen passion fruit, and bananas. And then I'm gonna add my protein and collagen booster. Sometimes I do pink, and then I'll do pink pitaya added in. If I want blue, I'll do blue spirulina. If I want green, I do lots of greens. So I'm adding in three chopped carrots, and then about a half cup of frozen passion fruit or lily koi. If you don't have access to that, you can use a squeeze of lime instead one and a half cups of frozen pineapple, approximately, about two cups of frozen mango, and then five to six frozen ripe freckled bananas. Always start with less if you're going for a thick smoothie bowl, and I should also note the Vitamix Ascent. This is what we have, the Vitamix Ascent A3500 series model is hands down the best blender on the market. So if you're looking for anything to add to your kitchen, especially if you're doing raw foods, the Vitamix is the way to go. I will link it below. You can also get free shipping. So definitely check it out. The Vitamix we use multiple times a day. So crucial for good, thick smoothies and nice creams. The best smooth blend possible. So this entire smoothie is about 1300 calories, but I'm not gonna probably eat the whole thing. I'll save some for Dusty and the kids. I'll probably make them their own separate one because again, I do wanna make sure I get enough calories, but probably gonna serve myself about half of it. But then I'll also be topping it with more goodies. I think I'm gonna do some hemp seeds, some sweet cacao nibs, and some fruit. Hemp seeds are another amazing source of minerals, protein and iron and magnesium, tons of magnesium. I used over half of that smoothie, so it's about 700 calories of smoothie plus the toppings, probably another 100. Mm. Even without the protein, let's not forget that plants themselves contain protein, even fruits. And my green juice this morning had tons of protein and iron. I'll try to share some nutrition facts for you guys just to give you a glimpse into the power of raw foods and just how nutrient dense they truly are. Mm. I'm gonna enjoy this and wait for the fellas to get home and get a little work done and I'll see you guys at dinner. Mid-roll dates are like my favorite raw sweet treat snack. So I'm gonna have these and then I'm gonna chop a salad. So I'm going to make a rainbow salad for dinner and I'm gonna try a new raw dressing. I'm hoping this bowl is big enough because I know I'm going to need a big salad to get enough calories. So I'm going to do arugula and de-stem a whole bunch of curly kale. You want a pepper? Biff loves bell peppers. 
My goal here is to really, really massage the kale well so it's not quite so rough. I can see it getting darker green and breaking down as I'm smashing and tearing it. So that's a good sign. It's gonna be really tender and juicy. Mm, this is gonna be good. I might even break up this arugula a little bit too. And I'm gonna add some green onions, some rainbow cherry tomatoes, some yellow bell pepper, red cabbage. Cabbage is a super good prebiotic and probiotic. It is teeming with healthy bacteria. Some alfalfa and broccoli sprouts, some radish, some diced avocado, some sauerkraut. I get this super yummy local sauerkraut. It's made here. Um, cabbage, turmeric, ginger, and Himalayan salt. I actually got certified as a raw chef. I took a Matthew Kenny course right before Max was born, so that was in 2018. So I'm obviously not gonna eat a whole cup of sunflower seed dressing tonight. So this should keep in the refrigerator for about 72 hours. I'm actually going to mix in some dried dill. This will be a nice touch. It'll add a pretty little green, earthy tone. Let's try a little taste test, should we? You want pepper? Yeah. What are you thankful for, everybody? I'm thankful for Mommy and Baby and Daddy. Oh. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within. 